Hi, my name is uh, Guillaume Chancin and I'm a technology analyst at IT TechX. So what do you do? Well, I cover different topics, mainly printed electronics, um, sensors, displays and uh, wearable electronics now. So there's a wearable conference right here. What's, what's going to happen at the wearable? Well, this is a sort of new. Um, we've uh, put together a good program on wearable technology and we've invited a lot of good speakers. And what we really want to see is all the emerging technologies in the field of uh, wearable electronics and wearable devices. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting because we, we, we're going to see new materials, new type of uh, sensors, and also we have an exhibition with uh, several booths uh, dedicated to that topic. So, so what's going on right now with the, with the flexible displays? Flexible displays is very exciting. You know, people have been talking about flexible displays for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, in the past we've seen some e-ink displays that can be bent. But now um, you've seen all the big manufacturers and uh, they're making they're making OLED displays and, uh, and these displays are going to be flexible. So there's a lot of uh, money being invested now in the production of these displays and this is going to be a reality for uh, consumers. So yeah, very exciting. Flexible LCD, is that possible? Um, you know, flexible LCD is, is not impossible but uh, technically it's very challenging and um, probably, uh, you know, it would take uh, it would be too difficult to manufacture and something that's acceptable. So uh, very unlikely to see a, a flexible LCD display. But maybe there'll be LCDs that are uh, uh, less breakable. Yeah. Unbreakable? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that, might be, that might be a reality. Um, there are still some challenges. And, you know, because liquid crystal, liquid crystal displays, they, they need a backlight. And, uh, and, and so there's a lot of different challenges in in making um, uh, um, something which is not based on glass and based on plastic. Uh, but it's not impossible. Uh, so far, nobody has really... So does that mean uh, this is an opportunity for the OLED industry to go into flexible? Yeah, it's a big opportunity. And to be honest, it's uh, probably the major way to differentiate against uh, an LCD panel. Because LCD are not going to be flexible. So if you can make an OLED flexible, uh, that's a really big differentiator. But the, the, the big question is uh, the, 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 the consumer that buy the device, um, can they actually use the flexible display? Can they, can they bend it? And that's going to be the, the big question. And so which kind of other uh, uh, segments do you cover? So uh, a lot of sensors, uh, and like flexible sensors, printed sensors, and, uh, and uh, different printed electronics as well. So, what are those sensors? Are they on the market or is it for the future? Uh, it's a bit of both. So, some of them are quite recent, been recently commercialized and uh, they're not really targeted at the consumer market. It's more for industrial use. Um, but they are quite unique because of the fact that they are very thin and then, uh, very flat and uh, made on plastic. So, uh, it's, it's quite a big departure from you know, typical sensor technology that you might find elsewhere um, and uh, and it's a different type of sensor you know you can have gas sensors temperature sensors or optical sensors gas sensor yeah temperature sensor op optical sensor yeah, yes and uh, who's making those um, well we know we know all the companies uh, involved uh, there are a few startups and um, and you know they're quite pioneers in their field because no one has done this before so uh, you know there's a few players all right and uh, what's the other stuff you talk about um, printed electronics yes printed electronics wearable technology so do you need printed electronics for wearable technology I would like to see very very thin and light smartwatches yeah do you need something new, no? New materials? You need, uh, yes. Right now, you know, the smart watches are, are all made using quite conventional mobile phone technologies. So, you know, the same components that were developed for making your smartphones are now being packaged inside a smart watch. But, you know, if in the future, if you want something that is much lighter, much thinner, uh, you will have to uh, get components that are made differently. And print electronics is one way to do it. It's not the only way. Um, but I'm, you know, 
for example, sensors, uh, you know, smartwatch without sensors is not really useful because they are used to track uh, your health, your fitness, and uh, and you need to uh, get a lot more sensors on these on these things. So um, there there'll be a lot of opportunities to develop new technologies. So at the ID Tech X uh, conference right here is an opportunity to see what's going to happen in the future. Absolutely, um, you know the the way we see those uh, those. Um, this conference is um, it's an emerging technology event. So, you know, anything that is new and we think is going to be big in the future, uh, we try to include it. And, uh, and, and it's really interesting to have the combination of applications, materials, and, uh, and devices all together in the same, uh, in the same trade show.